Good morning, everyone. Good morning. So, as, as Kate already said, I'm Lisa Gensel. I'm one of the co-chairs of our social and environmental justice team, and um, we've been celebrating Peace Month this month, so we're having one, one last Sunday. Here we are on October 27th, and our congregation has almost reached the end of celebrating Peace Month at NUMC. And yet, each of us knows that peace is not something we can consider and work towards one month a year, putting it aside for other concerns at other times. If anything, today's world with its wars and political and social divisions, its tribalism of us versus them, and its seeming lack of goodwill cries out for efforts toward peace 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. It can be enough to bog down every one of us in a mire of uncertainty and anxiety and dejection. As a person who deals with an anxiety disorder, I know I've gone there. But then I think of Philippians 4, verses 6 and 7 which were my Nana's very favorite verses in the Bible and have become some of mine. And I'm going to read them here from the New Living Translation because I think, I think this really sounds beautiful and, and right to the point. So Philippians 4, 6, and 7. Don't worry about anything, but instead pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. And I think, ah, I don't have to understand it. I don't have to figure it all out, God knows and God's peace is there for us. Now pre living in this peace sounds easier said than done, but our world desperately needs God's peace, a peace that passes all understanding, a peace that we can help live into the world with our prayers and thoughts and words and deeds. Let us devote ourselves to living God's peace each day, all year, not just for one month. Let us pray. Creator God, we thank you for your constant presence in each of our lives and for the many blessings that surround us each day. We ask, Lord, give us peace, peace in our own hearts and minds to know that you are always with us to follow your will to live your love into a world that often feels like it would rather drown in division and anger. Make us each instruments of peace in your world, taking that peace that you alone can give, the peace that passes all understanding, and sharing it with each and every person that we meet. Let this congregation, every person joined here with me in prayer, Live so that all may see your reflection in our eyes and actions, so that people feel safe in our presence and comforted and accepted and known. And God, give us courage to keep choosing peace, even when it's not the easy thing. Without justice, there can be no peace in the world. And I think we all know that working for your justice often isn't easy or comfortable or sometimes even safe. But help us to make that choice to call out the wrongs in society and to raise up a world of equity, support, and acceptance where your peace can flourish. This is a big task, Lord. We know it may not be easy, but we also know, Lord God, that you are with us every step of the way. Thank you again for your love and for this opportunity to work your will. In Jesus' name, amen.